What's the problem? With Deflect. You. You, you too. Marcia. When I walked into Tanya's party, my mindset is. You're walking into a place with Candy who you haven't spoken to, and that's like an elephant in the room. As soon as I walk in, you guys are talking to Candy, and I see her like, I'm like, oh, I just walked into the middle of some fire. I told Portia, like, as soon as I answered the door, like, I didn't even beat around the bush. I'm like, Portia, it's crazy in there. I just want you to know you might be walking into a firing squad. So then Portia walks out. And she greets everyone. Yes. She like bends down and gives this big hug. You know she's such a Southern belle. She's like giving big hugs and stuff. I'm like, hey girl. And Candy was seated here. I was seated here. And the only available seat was in the middle of me and Candy. Oh. Uh... And she's like looking. At, and I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just move over. Like it was so weird. I'm big pregnant, so hormones are out of control. I am not even really Portia anymore if I get upset. I'm like the Hulk. I had even said to my mom, literally, just before I walked in the house, I was like, mom, I'm not gonna say anything to her. You know, I don't wanna get upset, you know. The hormone of Portia me was like, address it, bitch, address it. So I'm like, what y'all talking about? You know, immediately, as <laughs> soon as I sat down, I'm like, damn, that's not what you were supposed to do. But that's the first thing I said. And I'm like, how you nuck if you buck with your pregnant self? <laughs> Sit down. Like, they were really, like, passionately going at it. Candy was standing up and you she was doing her. You don't know how to control you know, yourself. Woo! And then when the B word flew, I was like, uh-oh, okay, let me move back. At that moment, I'm just looking at her like, I'm like, oh, you are just so vengeful, girl. Like, if you didn't really want me to come to Todd's party, you really didn't have to invite me. I don't even know what that was. Also, I didn't tell you, right after Todd's party, I had to go to the hospital what? because the stress had really shut me down the next day. I had like pains in my stomach oh. or whatever. So I don't know, there's no apology, no listening to my side of the story. You saw that yourself too. And so at that point, this is no friendship. If you came to our event, mm -hmm. you was running up on a girl and you know being aggressive or whatever, mm -hmm. why do I owe you an apology? Because at the end of the day, if our party would have got shut down, you were the cause of that. I'm, I'm just not understanding how she turned it into, I owed her an apology because she got into it with somebody at right. the party. I agree with Portia. I agree with Candy. This is really a tough decision because you invite me to something, they kick me out of your event. I need to I see need your you face. to come and say I me. do, I'm sorry. I because need your face. you know damn well you need to come get me. I don't even want them issue. Bring that bitch back in the party. But you have to consider their friendship. They're not cool. They've been through a lot of things. They were trying to get cool. So this, which is why Candy invited her to the party. Really low key, so. Candy and Portia don't need to be friends because it's not going to work. Candy, low key, Can Candy had a lot of love for Portia, and then and I she think that Portia hurt her. Damn. It should have been dealt with between Candy and Portia because they have a history of drama. To find out that there were like conversations had and now like Cynthia's involved who didn't come to the party and like Nene had a conversation who didn't come to the party. And it's just weird to me as an adult how you can weigh in on a situation that you don't know all the sides to, you weren't there, and you give it like a full on opinion about something that happened that you're not properly privy to. Like, I'm sorry. I don't even know my locker combination because I'm not in high school anymore. Like, are you <laughs> kidding me right now? Let's talk a little bit about how this all erupted at Todd's birthday. We so weren't there. No, we weren't there. We weren't there. Okay. No, we just heard the we streets heard were talking. About it. We heard the streets oh. was talking. Well, tell us just a little bit about what the streets were saying. <laughs> it sounds so funny. Say, <laughs> Tim. Tell me a little bit about the streets. What did the streets You're say? You're like, tell me a little bit about what the streets were saying. You know saying. what? I have to tell you. What did the streets <laughs> say? What did the streets <laughs> say? That Portia was following behind that girl like I was following behind her. Mama, to where she can't tell. What's happening? This bitch is following me around the party. Do you remember when we were in Destin? There was a little bit of talk about a tattoo and a girl named Cherry. Sherry or Cherry or something like that. Yeah, I didn't know what that was about. So Candy being from Atlanta, like, oh my God, she knows a little bit of everything. It's kind of scary. So she's like, oh, I know Cherry or my friend knows Cherry and he has a tattoo. So there was like oh. that kind of going back and forth. So then when we're at the party, Candy's like, it was the girl Cherry. And I'm like, from Destin? <laughs> then about 20 minutes later, the DJ tells me like they had to escort Portia out. And I'm like, escort her out where? Like we're all at the <sighs> same party. 
I saw no, like, ruckus. It was not, like, a big thing. I'm so confused. I can see Portia meeting this girl for the very first time and being like, I definitely was I got to talk. I got to, this is her. So what's up? Yes. Who are you? And tried to, like, get rowdy. What the streets said is that <laughs> Dennis spoke to the ex. <laughs> and they say he kissed on the cheek. I don't know if he kissed on the cheek or not, because I wonder. I that didn't happen. The, the, the cheek kissing my You kissed on the cheek. Really? No, even, but, you know, I'm you can say hi. I'm in the room with Greg exes. I don't really know. You don't let Greg kiss his ex on the cheek? Listen, today he can kiss her on the cheek, Whatever, but you know, no. back then he might. You're not kissing on the cheek and we ain't been together six months. Are you crazy? But that's them. But you know, we Greg and I, you can't compare us because we've been together yeah. over 22 years. So you, that this might is turn y'all on. He can be with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> turn us on. Yeah, right? like, ooh, I'm excited, Greg. You know, if he wanted to hug and kiss, I'm fine with it. But everybody ain't fine with it. You have to be in a very comfortable place to be able to handle those kind Very of things. And so I could see her doing it, but she said she didn't do that. But I don't know if she did because I wasn't there. Let's talk about Todd's birthday party. What went wrong there? Girl. I was excited to go to Todd's 45th birthday party. Like, I think that I really believe the whole world surrounding me and Candy had changed because she and I had made this truce and we were moving forward to a better place. It was just unfortunate how that night ended. Jamie is a girl who used to work for me and now she works for Candy. So Jamie had been circling my group for a while and I was like, okay, should I speak to the girl? Or like, like why, you know, why does she keep like What's circling? She to say? Yeah, kind of like a shark, like following around <laughs> us. And I was like, okay, let's just, you know, stay in our world. So we're taking a picture and Jamie just walks right in the middle, like very slow in front of us taking this picture. Oh. Down the line of three people on either side, oh. like, look, she's trying to get our attention. Like, mm. let's not even pay her any attention. Maybe like five, Seconds later, Jamie walks back with a girl, with her. With the girl. With the girl. Jamie's friend is a person that Dennis used to date. She was one of the people with the tattoo of her name on him. Got it. The young lady and um, Jamie walked past them, and Dennis said something like, um, oh, you ain't gonna speak to the girl? Mm -hmm. And so I guess she leaned in to hug him. Leaned in. Hug. You know, just a hug, you know, like a, hi. Right, got it. I see him like do like this, like he literally did like this. And so I saw his gesture like, why are you pulling back like that? Like what's going on over there? So I walk across, uh -huh. maybe a couple feet. He turns around and I see the girl and then the ex that has been invited to this party that I'm invited to. And then I see Jamie and Jamie was like doing like this at Dennis. And I'm like, why are y'all over here? And then they walked off. They said that Portia was aggressively walking up on the girl, basically like, what's up? Like, you know, right. like an aggressive way. Right. The girl had, you know, turned her back and was like walking away from her, but they said that she was still walking up behind the girl. Now I turned to Dennis and I'm like, you know, what are they, what were they even talking about? He was like, man, don't worry about them, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I'm, I'm about ready to go. We walk out. By then, my sister was coming out, and she said, I just got kicked out of the party. I said, you just kicked out of the party? She said, yeah, Jamie was telling them, get up, get us out of there, get those girls out of there. And I said, oh, really? They were doing all that? And she said, yeah. So I'm like, oh, wow. So they just really made this like a thing, like mm -hmm. you're just kicking Portia out. Portia texts me. She said, that bitch Jamie got me thrown out the party. Jamie didn't have the authority to be throwing her out of the right. party. What I can say for a fact is the friends of mine that saw it for a fact don't have a problem with Portia. Right. No he, one would just say that she was a problem if she wasn't being a problem. Right. Yeah. When her and her man, you know, went out to party or whatever, he texted the girl while she was still in the party saying, uh, oh, that's fucked up what you did, LOL. What? Check your man. So she's being put out the party. <laughs> and somehow he has time to text the girl who's yes. still at the party. Yes. Uh, Whether, you know, it was a beef between her and Jamie or a beef between her and the girl or however it happened, it had nothing to do with me. 